Hey guys, my name is Dancy Bearded, and I'm gonna take you through my beard care, beard styling, beard grooming routine uh, to get you guys caught up. First, real quick, if you find this content valuable or even entertaining, please hit a real quick thumbs up, aka the like button. And if you're new here and you wanna learn about beards, consider subscribing. But I just took a shower. I washed my beard, I did follow with conditioner, I wash my beard every single day, and I recommend all of you guys do as well. And then I followed with a conditioner today, which is every other day. I got out of the shower, I dried my body, I put on a shirt, cause nobody wants to see all this, we're gonna keep the taco meat contained <laughs> underneath here. And then uh, that's it, my beard is just like sopping wet, it's dried a little bit, obviously moving back and forth, but I'm gonna carry on from that point. Shower done, now we're here. Normally I do have my shirt off, but again, it's for the video. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry my beard to a damp-like state. I don't want it dripping, like right now it's too wet, right? I don't want it sopping wet, but I also don't want it dry. I wanna have a little bit of moisture in my beard, and I have videos on all this stuff today, you guys, I'm gonna try not to make it too long, but a lot of people will say, well, damn, water and oil don't mix. Exactly, our hairs are porous. We want them to fill with fresh water, the extra hydration, lock it in with oil so you get a little bit of a boost of hydration, and it helps spread the product more evenly. Now, I do have a mirror over here, so there will be times where I'm not making eye contact with you guys. It's just to kinda of see what I'm doing. So I go around, I do not use a microfiber cloth for my, my beard. I just don't like the feel of them. It just doesn't feel right. So I just use a normal towel. I try to be gentle. I try to do a lot of pat drying here. All right, come underneath. I kind of wring my beard out. And this is really my test for how damp my beard is. People will say, how damp? And I'm like, ah, 75% dry, right? 25% damp. How do I measure that? I don't. I just throw a crazy number out there. But what I do is I run my hand through my beard and I can feel, okay, it's damp, but I'm not like spraying water when I do this. If my beard was soaking wet, there'd be water going everywhere. So that's good. Next up, and I am going to highlight the different tools and things I use today. None of these are sponsored. None of these companies know I'm making this video. It's just what I use and what I'm using today. So first thing is the number eight Chicago carbon fiber comb. This thing's amazing. It is the main tool I use for years and years now. Now, I do comb my beard before putting in oil. Now, for some of you, that's not gonna be possible because your beard is really curly and it would cause breakage and snags. I'm slow and gentle and I have this great tool and it's not a problem. Why do I do it? I like to get a little bit of exfoliation on the skin, get that blood flow going, and then also get out those tangles and snags before I put in my oil. Today, I'm gonna go with Dr. Nix. This is their rosemary peppermint or peppermint rosemary beard oil. And I'm gonna show you guys about how much I use. Now, every dropper is different, right? I really have kind of gotten away from saying this many droppers because some droppers fill up halfway, some fill up all the way, some fill up a third of the way, so it's tough. The best method, in my opinion, is find out the amount of the pool in your hand that you use for oils. If it's thin, maybe use a little bit more. If it's thick, maybe use a little bit less. If it's dry, like we just entered a Michigan winter, maybe you use a little bit more in the dry season, less in the humid season. Okay, but I'm usually with Dr. Nix, I'm about three droppers full, and this is a pretty good dropper one, and it's gonna be about exactly three droppers full. Now, the amount you use is relative to your beard size, right? You guys have heard uh, beard oils for the skin underneath the beard. That's true, but it's also for the hair. So if you have a bigger beard, you're going to use more. It also has to do with your skin type. If you have dry skin, you're going to use more. If you have oily skin, you're going to use a little bit less. Okay, so I've got about three in there right now. I'm going to be able to show you guys the pool. Oh, lose it, caught it. <laughs> and so then I'm going to warm it up and activate it in my hand. Also, I don't know if you guys caught it off camera. Always shake your beard oil bowels beforehand mainly because there's different ingredients that have different weights and they will settle at different points. So you wanna make sure you're shaking that up and getting it even. All right, so it's now spread out. I like to get on my fingertips. I'm gonna come up underneath the beard into the skin and then work it throughout side to side and then I'm gonna come back over the top. All right, so here. And I am gonna run through this in real time, guys. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not going to fast forward. I'm just taking you guys on my journey and hopefully it won't be too long for you. All right, so I went underneath. Now I'm going down, pressing. Don't forget about the mustache. Pressing on the sides, get into the cheeks there. I come all the way through. I'm not pulling too hard, but I do want to get it down through the beard. Underneath again, and notice with my hands, I'm kind of going like this into the skin, getting through those hairs, getting down to that skin. Okay. Now I have a little bit of excess oil on my hands. All I do is I like to rub it on my fingertips, get the cuticles there, and then I mainly go to my elbows. 
If I have anything left, it'll go on the forearm, maybe my sides, maybe the tattoos, all right? And that's about it. I don't really have any problems. You don't have to wash it off or anything. Now, I'm immediately gonna go in and I'm going to use my comb to get in and spread the product evenly, but also work it into the skin, work it into the pores, and then really get out any kind of tangles or snags. Now, I know what some of you are thinking watching, especially those that are new here. You're like, dude, your beard looks great already. What do you need to do if I only had a beard like that out of the shower? Listen, Linda, this beard gets like this because of daily training, daily heat, daily grooming routines, literally consistently. I don't take days off. I don't have lazy days. I do this every single day. Now, I'm also going to go underneath the beard here. But if I were to take off a couple of weeks, my beard would not look like this in the morning. My beard would not look like this after the shower. I do have pretty curly, pretty wavy hair. And I do like my beard to be pretty immaculate looking, if I could say so myself. Now, what do I mean by that? I want it to be purposeful. I want it to be well-groomed. And it, it's, it's getting better and better with training, right? This part, I'm really cool with. I just don't like all of this before grooming. And I don't like some of this. You can see the waves and the whoop-whoops over there. So, all right. I'm gonna let that settle for usually three to five minutes. Now, I might be going a little bit fast today for the video and that's okay. That's just for your guys' purposes. I can explain some other products as I go through. All right, also a little tip, brush your teeth before the shower so you don't have to deal with toothpaste if you're messy like me. Now, I've gotten better, right? I had a good tip on YouTube actually. Somebody had said, gravity is your friend. So when you brush your teeth, don't look down, keep your head up. I was like, oh, light bulb, great. Next thing I'm gonna be using the blow dryer. I use a blow dryer in all of my beard every day. I use just one off Amazon. I've made a video on this. It's called the CoShare. It's a Dyson knockoff, but it's amazing. And I don't have $400 for a Dyson. So I really love this guy. Followed by that, I will be going with the Aberlite Go 2, which is a heated brush, aka beard straightener. 320 degrees. Love that bad boy. And then the last one. This one's by no means necessary. It is a luxury. I get it. But it has made a difference for me. And that is a cold brush. It's like, a, it's the Babyliss Pro Cairo Care. So it's that uh, really just straight up, it's like a heated brush, but it gets really, really cold. For me, it helps lock in the style and it gives a little bit of like hydration boost as wild as that sounds. Okay, and then we can't forget about the water. Cheers, guys. Okay, we're gonna go in with the, the blow dryer here. And depends on the day, depends on the issue, but sometimes I do need a round brush. I use this one. I believe this one is from Volt Life Proof Grooming. It's the right size for me. It's got boar's hair in there. It's got the plastic teeth. I love it. So I don't know if I'm gonna use that yet today, but maybe I will just to demonstrate it. So I turn this bad boy on. This one's relatively quiet. I'm not sure how it picks up on there. Color changing, click it once. This is the medium. If it's uh, this orange, that's good. Red is really hot, too hot for me. So I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go underneath, and then come back again and finish with the cold shot. That's key. All right, here we go. Woo, I am getting sweaty. Normally I'd have on like a fan and stuff, but I don't wanna get you guys too loud here. All right, here we go. Nice and slow. My number one mistake is going too fast. Slow down, Dan. <laughs> Now it is a good habit to switch hands. I don't personally because I really understand my angles and know how to manipulate my wrist and the tool. But for a lot of you, it's a good habit to switch hands so you're not like it, eh, like changing one side. Now I'm gonna come up underneath. What this does is gets out the tangles and snags under the beard and gives you some volume to work with, AKA the blowout beard. Lock it down with the warm first. Now I'm gonna go to a cold shot. 
It's just gonna be straight blue on blue. And this does get pretty cold, it feels great actually. And while I'm finishing this, I'm actually gonna start my heated brush. Very simple, three seconds to start there. And I again, I go to the 320. I don't know if that's gonna show yet. There we go. So this thing's gonna be heating up while we're talking over here. All right, cold shot. All right, so that does lock in the majority of my beard, which is the priority, right? But what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys this round brush. Now, normally I would do this before the cold shot. Sometimes not, I don't realize it till after final styling. But let's say I have this dip right here, right? I'm gonna grab that hair, twist away, blast it with heat. It's not gonna be perfect, but every day it gets a little bit better. Grab. Okay. already better here. I'm gonna do the same on the side over here and I'm gonna show you how I do this with a heated brush as well. This side. Now you can shoot the cold shot at this afterwards as well or you can just go right into the heated brush which I'm gonna do. This bad boy is already loaded for us, 320. I do mustache, sideburns, and sometimes down here. But see how my mustache is down completely over my lips? Like literally you can't see my lip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the lazy walrus and brush it off to the side. And this is skin safe, you can put it right on your face. That's the beautiful thing about these uh, heated brushes, aka beard straighteners. And normally when I get through the mustache here, I'm gonna extend all the way down through the beard. And a nice little tip when I'm getting this area here, right? It likes to push in. I take my tongue inside of my cheek and I push out. Gives it a little backboard. Okay. See that difference there? Mustache versus this. Goodness. You guys hot in here, it's just me. And no, heat will not kill your beard. I do this every single day. As long as you're doing it with the right techniques, I actually have some science to prove that it may be better for your beard. Not even maybe, it is. All right, now the sideburns. Essentially, I'm going to take these bad boys and go in a different direction and then lay them down flat again. All right, I'm going to go like this. And I like to kind of separate the parts of the hair. So use the backboard here, nice and slow. Then this section, I'm going to take and pull this way. Heat in layers, my friends. And then I'm gonna go down. Beautiful. And sometimes, especially when that heat is activated, I'll just maneuver them where I want it to go. So you see that difference already, right? The curls here, the little whoops, and then this one's pretty dang straight. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, and I'm not saying anything is wrong, it's just a personal preference. And another way, instead of just going across, is sometimes I'll mimic that, that uh, round brush and I'll go in like this, and that can give me a lot of volume and really get out some of these problems as well. All right, I still like to get the sideburns up here. Okay, let me go down. Nice and slow on the down, guys. That's so, so important. 
If you go too fast, it's not going to go where you want it. Slow here. I can go faster on the mustache. I can go faster on other areas. But that down sideburn, you want to be nice and slow. Okay. All right. Looks pretty dang good. And then the last step is going to be the cold brush. Now, this one is a little bit noisy, but you'll see. It takes a second to get real cold. Oh, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. All right. And I know you guys don't see me with a hat often. Yes, I do have head hair. <laughs> Dan, don't wear so many hats. I hear you. I got you. I got you. All right. So this is the cold plate right here. And then these are nice for just kind of styling. And it's so refreshing, guys. This one might just be mental. I just love the way it feels. <laughs> but it is really nice. Okay, and I'm sure the second I finish filming, I'm gonna be like, shoot, why didn't I talk about that? But hey, I think this pretty much covers it, you guys. Here is the style for the day. Again, I know it's not crazy different than the beginning. I know that the beginning wasn't bad, but this just screams purposeful. This just screams someone who really cares about their beard, someone who wants to have that styled mustache. Now here's a, an additional tip. If I want my mustache to pop, I'm gonna take my fingers to the corner of my mouth, and I'm just gonna run it along that mustache, kind of twirl a little bit, and then see how it separates that bad boy. That was actually real nice. <laughs> and so that's how it gets going there. And that is my beard styling, beard care, beard grooming routine. Drop some comments down below, drop some questions. I wanna know, and I do have my wedding ring over here, you guys. I take it off when I get ready, but then I put it right back on. Just a little silicone, like $12 ring. Love that bad boy. <laughs> so let me know your questions. Let me know your observations or just leave some feedback for me. If you appreciate this video, let me know. That helps me out. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to any new subscribers out there. We're going into 2024 to have the best beard ever. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I appreciate you guys. Please stay bearded and stay positive. Bye guys.